I really forgot his name. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll work. <laughs> Level one. So I just got back from the bus. I feel so nauseous, so I don't really feel like taking this test. The test is, um, so in IT, we work with something called Scrum, which is like a methodology. One of the roles in Scrum is a Scrum master. And that's just kind of like one person on the team who's saying, you know, oh, we're, we are adhering to all the scrum rules or we are not. When you're doing the official assessment, you pay $150, <laughs> then you do the assess. It's kind of, you're paying for an attempt at the assessment. I decided on my own, like nobody's making me do this. My work is not making me do this. I just said that I would, um, so I would like to do it. Uh, oh, so, someone at the door. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. If my ears are ringing, I don't think I can be focused enough for the assessment. So what I'm going to do is, one, I'm going to make a cup of tea. Two, read the stupid scrum guide once more. It's 12 pages. It's boring. Do one more practice assessment. And then if I feel calm and focused enough, I'll do the open assessment today. If I don't, so be it. If you want to know what my sweater is, by the way, it's the Winterfjell sweater. It's a pattern by Skagen Knits. Um, and this is my first, but I've knit two of these. Time to make some tea. Oh, hang on, I've got a message. We're about two hours later. I read the entire document again. Entire document. I did the practice test and then I was just so sick of it, I thought, I'm just going to do the test. I'm just going to pay $150, do the test. And if I fail, I'll just not tell anybody about it. And I passed. <laughs> so yay. Official Scrum Master level one. While I was doing it and I was like, oh, I don't know if, I don't know if this is going to be enough if I'm going to make it. My boyfriend texted me <laughs> and he made dinner reservations. I'm gonna change my clothes. Still five minutes left of the workday, but I have a certificate now. So whatever. So me getting dressed for a restaurant just entails me putting on a different knitted outfit, but sure. Um, and I put in like this Christmas headband because I love, I'm like in a headband mode, vibe, era, I don't know. time for a cold shower. I take cold showers almost every day. Um, keeps it healthy, apparently. 
It's Boxing Day today and I'm already over Christmas a little bit. I was this close of pulling down my Christmas tree today. I didn't and uh, I promised my kid I would leave it until um, January 1st. So January 1st that tree is going back in its box. So over it. <laughs> We're going to my boyfriend's parents for dinner tonight and um, I really want to stay in and do nothing. I'm sure like when we get there, it'll be nice and fun and shit, but yeah. I'm still bit tired. I don't feel like it. I'm not in the mood anymore. I'm over Christmas. I'm trying to like brighten my mood by um, painting my nails. Who knows? Maybe it'll work. Maybe nail polish is like, a magic in the mood maker. I don't think so. <laughs> Sometimes the holidays are just, just kind of going through the motions and um, it feels like there's so much to do. There's like food and cleaning and washing and stuff and presents and pressure. I haven't got any makeup on. That's why I look like a pig's bottom. But I will put makeup on before I leave the house. I just didn't feel like it today. I also don't know what to like wear. Should I get dressed? Or should I just show up in this hoodie and be like, I'm sorry. This was the amount of effort I was reasonably able to put into my outfit. See, it's a really good color. It's really like bright Christmas red. It's very Mariah Carey red. boyfriend's parents yesterday and I was like beforehand I was so tired I just didn't want to people and like when we got there it was fun and it was fine um but then I got home I was so tired my hair I went to the hairdressers this morning because my hair was so long it was really nice just having some like <laughs> I'm so tired just having someone washing my hair and doing my hair for me was like really great and um yeah I recommend it it wasn't too busy either because it's after Christmas like most people go to the hairdressers like try and rush in 
before so that they have nice hair for family but I don't care like my family can deal with my like manky long hair and then I can go to the hairdressers after Christmas and have a nice relaxing experience the guy who cut my hair was very adorable he was very young I think I'm 42 so like anybody younger than that it just seems to be very young to me these days um, but he had gorgeous hair, like really long, curly. It's like well jealous. Like my hair, it does not curl. My hair is so straight. It just, it's a bit boring. But he did such a good job. And he was like, like, like very much into like hairdressing mode. And he was like flipping his scissors, like flip, 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 chop, 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 flip, flip, flip. It was like... Do you know that movie Edward Scissorhands? And I think at some point he like uses his scissor hands to cut people's hair and it's very snip 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 kind of like a Mozart working on people's hair. It was that experience today. It was a little bit like a religious experience. It was very nice. I really like I need to remember oh shit, I already forgot his name. I think it was like <laughs> like going home thinking I should remember his name so that I can request request him to cut my hair next time and I've already forgotten it Jesus I want to sleep but my boyfriend's coming in a bit and then we're gonna have lunch and then go to Ikea hopefully Ikea like it's the it's the Christmas holidays here so it might be busy at Ikea but it also might be that people are just tired from buying stuff before Christmas and they're just tired of Christmas in general that not many people are going to Ikea let's hope it might be absolutely packed because people have literally nothing else to do Going to Ikea was a bit of a mistake. It was very busy. Anyway, I'm looking for a replacement for this lamp because it's very pink. I'm a little bit over it. I'm gonna put this one in the kitchen because I think having like dining room table lamps in the kitchen is super fun. Um, so I'm gonna put this one in the kitchen. And then I got, at, I got into Ikea and I couldn't choose between two lamps. And so I just got both. It's this one. I can't pronounce that. Bleefeder. I don't know. And uh, this one. The Sorrow Clint. I think. I don't know. Anyway. I'm going to put them together and see. Uh... Ooh, there we go. See how that looks.
so it looks nice it's a bit bright Oops, sorry but at least we can control it with siri so turn off the copper lamp turn on the christmas tree okay the christmas tree is on turn on the copper lamp i'm not sure about this location i think i want um something like a stand or maybe like a small table for that lamp and put it where the christmas tree is currently so the christmas tree needs to go obviously it will go um but for now this looks nice so i'm happy with that See how cute that lamp is in the kitchen? It's adorable. People should have lamps in the kitchen, like not like kitchen lighting, but like table lights in the kitchen. It's a hint. It's a tip, a tip from Melanie, who knows so much about interior design. <laughs> anyway, I'm making spaghetti for my solo dinner tonight. Doing nothing. It's amazing, relaxing, fantastic. Doing nothing should be top priority for everybody. Anyway, this is the end of the vlog. It's a bit of a different video. It was a lot of work because editing is, holy shit, editing is so much work. If you have a million different clips, it's way easier to just rec record like one thing for an hour and just integrally plomping it on YouTube. But uh, I had fun. I had fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fine. Please, please leave a like um, if you enjoyed this video uh, or not if you didn't because that's just, you know, some people like stuff and some people like other stuff. Um, what's that? what else? What are things that people on YouTube say? Oh yes, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do if you feel like it. I mean, don't subscribe if you don't want to because I will be clogging up your feed with non-existent videos and that might be annoying. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody had a lovely Christmas and is preparing mentally for New Year's for 2023. And uh, I'll see you again in the new year. Bye.